Hello fellow drone nerds, thanks for joining us today. My name is Joe Kearns and we're going to be talking about the Mavic 3 Enterprise series. In this video, we're going to go in a little bit more in depth about the two different models, the M3E and M3T. Alright, let's dive in. Alright, so the big difference between the two models of the Mavic 3 Enterprise series is going to be its payloads, and each of them are designed to better suit a use case. So let's start with the M3E. So looking at the M3E, and you'll look at that payload, first thing you're going to notice off the bat is it looks pretty similar to the Mavic 3 series. It looks similar, but if you look closely, you'll notice that Hasselblad symbol is actually gone and it just says DJI right there. And with that, there's going to be a little differences of that wide camera. And yes, there is a wide and a telephoto right there. And that telephoto is just like before, which is the 56 will zoom on that. But you're going to look at the, uh, let's, let's, let's look at the wide sensor a little closer. So the wide sensor on the Enterprise model is going to have a mechanical shutter. So that's going to be great when it comes into mapping and survey instead of a non-mechanical shutter, which is normally on the Mavic 3 series. So big difference on that one. So the M3T, the T standing for thermal, and that's going to be a thermal camera with a 640 by 512 radiometric camera on a Mavic 3 series. It's going to be a three sensor payload, so it's also going to have a wide sensor, which is going to be 48 megapixels, and only going to be a half size uh, for the full sensor. And then you have the telephoto, which is going to be 56 optical making the M3T best suited for public safety and search and rescue, or inspections that you would need a thermal camera on. Where does the Mavic 3 Enterprise series fit in DJI's Enterprise lineup? So all the way at the top, you've got the M300. That's gonna be the big workhorse, multiple payloads, just do just about anything drone. And then you have the M30T. And the M30T is gonna be, in a way, a more deployable version of the M300. And then you've got the Mavic 3 Enterprise series with two different variants, the M3E and M3T. And that makes this kind of the entry form thermal drone for the Enterprise lineup. Definitely more portability, uh, foldable, pack it in a backpack, uh, in a carry-on, do just about anything with this little drone. Between the two models, there are some similarities. One, built on the Mavic 3 platform. And with the Mavic 3 platform that has been proven, you have the Omnial Directional Optical Avoidance Systems on it. You also have the Advanced Pilot Programs on it, which helps with autonomy. And then you have the Advanced Return to Home feature, which programs its better optical way by using surroundings and so on instead of just a straight line like normal return to home features. They both are going to have the integrated beacon or strobe light on the back of the drone to help with those evening and, and more visibility in flights. Both share a 45 minute flight time. Also new with the Mavic 3 Enterprise series is a 100 watt USB-C power adapter. That's gonna get these batteries charged up super quick. They come with the new RC Pro Enterprise controller. This controller has some new features to it other than the regular RC Pro. The RC Enterprise has a built-in microphone that would go for the attachment for the loudspeaker, and then it also has DJI Pilot 2 built in there with those checklists and special features better for the Enterprise use. Both are optimized for DJI Terra. Let's talk about attachments for the M3E and M3T. So on top, you've got this new attaching point on the top, which is a USB-C, which is a PSDK. And with this, you're gonna have two different attachments coming this time. One, the loudspeaker. And so this loudspeaker, you will be able to speak through the RC Plus Enterprise controller and be able to broadcast through. You're also gonna be able to either do talk to text or a pre-recorded audio being able to play through the drone. The other attachment is gonna be the RTK module. So this is definitely, the form factor is definitely smaller than the previous generation. And this is gonna give that, both of these drones, the ability to have the centimeter grade accuracy when flying. Now with these attachments, it's going to also open the ability for these drones to support third-party attachments. 
Those aren't out yet, but real excited to see what people come up with for this product. Now with both models, they do support a attachment for 4G connectivity. That's not available in all countries yet, but it will have the ability to support that. All right, so which model is best for your organization's needs? Is it the M3E, which has that mechanical shutter, which is better suited for uh, survey and mapping and inspection without a thermal? Or is it gonna be the M3T, better suited for search and rescue, public safety and thermal inspection? To help with that decision, reach out to one of our experts at experts at dronenerds.com. We'll be there to guide you through the decision between the two different models or even go through the entire enterprise lineup to find the exact drone for your organization's needs. All right, folks, hey, thanks again for joining us today on a comparison between the two different models of the Mavic 3 Enterprise series. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at experts at dronenerds.com. And otherwise, hey, happy flying. Have a great rest of the day. Take care.